Hey guys, Sponge Murphy here. So I finally got a package today. Um, everyone's had their Age of Sigmar box. Um, today's Tuesday. Mine finally just arrived roughly about an hour ago. The plan was to do a live stream unboxing this, but unfortunately I'm having big computer problems. Uh, as you can see there, I have a lot of stuff going on on it. So hopefully I'm trying to get it fixed and up and running for the next time. Um, yeah, it's a bit unfortunate I couldn't do the live stream unboxing, but um, at, least, at least I can do it now with the normal video camera, I can get the good quality anyway. So I haven't opened this box, as you can see it's still sealed, I've been sitting here itching and I just got fed up so I said I'm going to open it now, the live stream will just have to do without. So um, I've been sitting in my front garden the last two days, including today, like an old man, waiting for this to get delivered. Put that knife away. And hopefully the audio isn't too bad. Um, I'm still working on what's the best way to do this with this new kitchen table. So um, bear with me if the audio is a bit off. So that's just the delivery stuff. So first off, I got these, which is pretty cool. Uh, their pins or badges, whatever you want to call them. I can get a closer look. The last time I got one of these, it was with the Skaven Vermin Lord. Um, so you have the Sig. I actually, I still don't know the name. I'm just gonna call them Sigmarites and the Corn one. Um, yeah, they're really nice looking. Really, a nice little gift. Nice little things we're giving out these days with GW. Um, so uh, I'll definitely go in the drawer next to um, my Skaven one. And I ordered this as well, which I'm going to be doing a separate video on. It's the White Dwarf. I can't get White Dwarf where I am. I have to order it. So, um, but I had to order this one. Every time I order something from GW, I always get an issue with a White Dwarf. But with this one, you get one of the free Stormcast guys, I think they're called. But it should be written in it. Uh, Stormcast is turn it's written on the bottom corner so like how long has it been since GW gave away a free model so this is it this is the big part of the box oh Jesus oh Christ this really does have some weight to it especially one side is really heavy this side is light no I can't remember the island of blood being that heavy and um, there you are awesome cover art it's really nice to get a full look at this. I've just seen so many pictures and so many videos of people posting stuff online. Let's have a look at the back. Um, yeah, this box, you know, the models look fantastic. A lot of people are saying the Stormcast guys, the pictures and everything don't do them justice. You have to see them in the flesh. So that's what I'm going to now finally getting a proper look. I feel like a kid at Christmas now opening this. Um, and everything's going to be reversed. I know like this is facing me. Uh, I should have planned it out from the start. Where I'll do everything this way instead of flipping it back and forth like that. So at the end of it, at the editing part I can just edit it. To everything the other way around. But like I said, I'm still trying to work things out. Holy moly, it's a lot of plastic. Um, first off, you get your whacking sticks. Um, you know, no, no one really pays much attention to these, but the inches are marked out on these ones. And the last ones, it was just, um, it was just like sticks. And that's it. You get the bases, your bag of bases, all around. Uh, yeah, this there's a lot, so much plastic here. You know, so let's have a look. We have one sprue of it's a bit of a mixed sprue. So look at this one. Uh, this one has the big kind of hell brute looking guy on it. 
So let's do three, four, five sprues. Get your bag of dice, which I think you get a lot more dice than this one. In the last box, a couple more. Uh, you get your two. Make sure I can... oh, keeping them frame. Get your two oval bases. You get your one big round base. You get your book. This book is pretty thick. It's the. It doesn't even have anything written on it. It just says Warhammer. Yeah, just Sigma. Um. So oh, oh. And what are these? Stormcast, Eternals, Transfer Sheet. So you get decals as well. Uh, I've never really used decals that much. Uh, but, um, yeah, so, first off, let's, i leave the book, I'll do the book a separate video. I just want to have a look at the quick models in the book, in the, in this set. Okay, so I had to move the camera because I was just an easier way to get a better look at the models from this position. Um, I'm not going to go over every little detail in this because I really there's like so much little bits, so many little parts here. If I zoom in, I'll focus better. Um, that I really don't know what they're for yet. Um, I know what that is, and that's the head belong to that big guy. I don't want to, you know, start trying to name some of these what they are and butcher their names and get them wrong. So I'm just going to go over some of the, you know, the bigger pieces, the nicer looking parts. Um, so this is the, I don't know what this guy's called, but it's that big slaughter brute looking guy. With a hole in his crotch there. Um, I don't think these are snap fit. Like the old box sets were. Um, as far as I can tell, there's that guy with the whip, he's pretty awesome. Um, as far as I can tell, a lot of these look like they need to be glued. Like here's a corn guy. And let's have a look at the other side of them. Um, like that looks like it's need to be glued in instead of being snapped. I can't see anywhere that, that kind of snaps it in. So I didn't see that mentioned anywhere else. Everyone just kind of said they were like snap fit models before the box came out. But I think it's pretty obvious that these guys aren't. Um, and I've only quickly had a look at these sprues and the detail in these guys are um, overwhelming nearly they're absolutely fantastic um, and I've mostly just looked at the corn guys I know a lot of talk has been about the stormcast guys yeah um, you know because how much they look like space marines look like something of a 40k and I think these um, let's have a look at the back of this guy. I'll have to show it upside down. These corn models, I think, got overlooked a little bit. They are a little bit, you know, like 40 k ish looking. But, you know, if that's the way they're going to go, that's the way they're going to go. I'm just taking it for what it is. But they, they really are fantastic looking. Um, this sprue, yeah, this one is nearly all stormed cast ones as far as I can see you get a cool look at the big banner that one of the guys have the guy with the big skull helmet has uh, really great detail in it um, you can have a look at this is the front of one of the stormcast guys I don't know if this is, is this the guy who has the wings I don't think so. I can't see from the back. Um, now, if you look at this, it's I think it's pretty obvious that you can't see that, or that you can see that they're not snap fit. These have to be glued in. You know, it doesn't bother me. Um, one bit at all doesn't make a difference. Um, yeah, there's a lot in this. Like this is the, this is a highly detailed starter set. Um, let's have a look at the details on this. I don't know what this thing is. Like a little banner thing. You can see the Sigma hammer and everything on it on the comet. Which is awesome. Uh, here's a look at one of the wings. These are pretty cool. They're a little bit you know fragile, like you see if you you could easily break one then, but they're awesome. This guy, I don't even know what's now you can kind of see this guy's face. 
Oh no, you can't, it's just a helmet. Um, with his breasts taken out there. Yeah, there's, you know, I'm just, this is my first time looking at these as well, so I'm a bit kind of quiet because I'm really looking at them. The detail is fantastic. There's these hammers. You know, I'm just trying to show a little bit of everything instead of focusing on all the little parts. The hammers look pretty cool. Uh, what's on this side? Ah, oh, here's something we haven't had a look at. These shields, this one here. So you get a better look at the shield. Games Workshop 2014, so there you are, they were making these last year. Yes. Let's see, is there anything different on this one? You can get a look at these guys are like the Marauder versions. I the name of these is on the back because there's no point you have, I can tell you. Blood Reavers. So these are like Marauder looking guys, they're much nicer looking Marauders than the last kit. Um very chaosy looking big muscly guys. Uh let's have a look at this guy. Really nice detail, the weapons, you know, corn axes and all that stuff. Uh, what's up on the top here? Oh, you can spot this cool helmet. There it is, I think that's awesome. And um, yeah, there's everything else on the sprue has pretty much been seen. There's just more Stormcast guys, you can get a look at the wings. Um, let's have a look at. This helmet here. I can get that one. Just catching the wood grain in the background. And um, you know, there's been so many mixed reactions about this whole thing. And um, you know, it is a new. It's pretty much like a new start for fantasy. It's a different game. You know, uh, this is the sprue with the corn lord guy on it with the warhound. I think it's called. Let's have a look at that. It's up here. I think that model is so awesome. Um, yeah, it is a new start. I don't know what to think of the rules yet. I haven't played it. You know, it's really not my place to comment yet. And just taking it for what it is. That's pretty sweet looking. I think that's where its jaws there are near enough. Um, let's have a look at that X. You know, I think this is one of the best starter sets from GW so far. I can, as I can see, as far as I can see, so far, it's phenomenal. Like, look at this corner banner. I know it's upside down, but it really is detailed to the max. You know, these corn guys are fantastic. I love that guy's paws. Um, oh yeah, this thing. You know from this, the big kind of griffin dragony thing that the leader was sitting on. Let's see if I can get there's its head there. And there's another leg, there's another bits of it. That guy's pretty badass looking. There's another look at the other side of the face. He's pretty awesome. Have a look at one of them banners here. That's on the axis. You know, details are nothing sloppy or nothing. There's no little detail left out. It really is a fantastic kit. Um, let's. Yeah. So the kit came to a hundred euro where I am in Ireland. It was a hundred euro. I think it was. 75 pound I think but um, you're getting one two three four one two three four five sprues there are two sprues that are the same as far as I can tell but um it's the detail is fantastic and I still have this book to go through uh, apparently I think it's meant to be like 96 pages Um, you know it's Thick enough, you know, for I know the old ones you get, the old starter sets you get, the rule book, and the rules are so up in the air with this whole new Age of Sigmar thing. Um, 
I don't know what they expect in this. I think there's like scenarios in it and everything. Uh, the little book, other book stuck in the back of it is, you know, it's thick enough. It shows you how to put them all together. It's not just like clipping and uh, snap fit. There's going to be a bit of work to come into this. Um, the round bases, I, I'm totally with. I think it makes more models look more it makes the models look more individual instead of getting lost in the big shuffle of a big square unit so I was actually up in my attic trying to get some of my round bases down for some of my other stuff like my scaven and everything so um, so yeah that's it that's my Age of Sigma starter box unboxing hopefully I didn't blow or bumble me wet through it too much um, for the whole next week, week and a half, is pretty much just going to be all this Edge of Sigmar stuff. I'm going to do videos comparing these to the size of other stuff. And um, like live shows, doing them where I'm just clipping them and putting them together, you know, comparing sizes, going through this book. Um, yeah, so that's it. So let me know what you guys think. Um, it's a bit late. Everybody had theirs last uh, Saturday, even Friday. But as true as now, I finally, finally got my hands on it. I can start with it, I can get into it. I'm so much looking forward to this. The corn guys are so much nicer than I thought they were. Um, yeah, so leave a comment below, let me know what you guys think. Hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't. And uh, yeah, get ready to be blitzed with more Age of Sigmar videos. So uh, thanks for watching, I'll see you guys next video.